Not all cities develop organically. Some are the product of one person's dream. Out of the wilderness, buildings are constructed and roads are laid. Yet no amount of planning can predict the personality of a place. What it will become when the people move in, bringing all of their baggage, not just their possessions, but also their traditions, values, desires, and culture. In this living blueprint, the lines of identity are constantly being redrawn. You may think you've heard everything, but the world is full of surprises. And when you're hanging out with musicians, nothing is off limits. Is this what you guys do every weekend? Every night. <laughs> every night! Yeah. My name is Jacob Edgar. Music is my life, and life is short. So crank up the volume and let the voyage begin. Funding for Music Voyager provided in part by... Live concerts are my passion. Now I can enjoy them over and over again. Additional funding provided by Hollywood, Florida Community Redevelopment Agency. Florida's Hollywood, where you want a beach. Welcome to Hollywood. All right, I'm not in the Hollywood with film studios and movie stars. I'm actually all the way on the other side of the country in Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood has turned to music and the arts to revitalize the city. And I'm here to see firsthand how music can be used as a tool to improve the experiences of residents and visitors. Now, I've been to Florida a lot, usually to visit my relatives in one of the many retirement communities or to explore the nightlife of Miami. And I've driven by the Hollywood, Florida sign many times on the freeway and said, gee, I wonder what that Hollywood has to offer. Well, I'm about to find out. People in Hollywood aren't going to tell you to turn down the volume. In fact, the streets of its historic downtown are throbbing with music of all types. Part of the city's effort to make Hollywood a music destination is the recent construction of an outdoor concert venue, Arts Park, which presents free concerts by top artists from around the world all year long. I happen to be in Florida as it gears up to commemorate the 500th anniversary of the arrival of Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon. So it's just my luck that this week's concert will feature an artist I've liked for many years, Antonio Carmona, a flamenco superstar from the south of Spain. Antonio comes from a famous musical family, and he and his brothers founded the hugely successful band Ketama. Now leading a solo career, Antonio is devoted to cross-cultural collaborations with artists as diverse as Nelly Furtado, Juanes, and even Willie Nelson. At Antonio's rehearsal, I discovered that he's joined forces with a band of primarily Cuban musicians for his concert in Hollywood. Yo creo que hay un puente, un puente eh, cultural muy importante entre América y España, ¿no? Sí. Y yo creo que es buen momento para salir y para encontrarse y para hacer cosas bonitas con otros músicos y con otros artistas. Háblame de para que tú no llores. Tú sabes que yo vivo en, en un sitio en España donde termina España es Andalucía. Entonces vienen muchísimos emigrantes que vienen, que vienen a, a buscar un, una vida nueva y un mundo nuevo hacia Europa. Y me pareció un, un detalle bonito, ¿no? Hacerle un regalo, el decirle que tienen, que tienen aquí, que no se pierda, que no se pierda nunca la, la esperanza. Con la 
gente que va Cargada de recuerdos Confío en la persona que me da Su amor, su amor sin conocerlo Aunque da tiempo para echarnos a andar no me preocupa si te encuentro al final Tan solo sé que busqué y que busqué Lo que este mundo me duele y me da Para que tú no llores así No pierdas la esperanza Sé que llegarás, llegarás para que tú no llores así, no pierdas la esperanza, sé que llegarás, oye llegarás, no, no. Para que tú no llores así, no pierdas la esperanza, sé que llegarás, llegarás. Para que tú no llores así, no pierdas la esperanza, sé que llegarás. Para que tú no llores así, no pierdas la esperanza, sé que llegará, llegará. Ah, yes, the lovely voice of Antonio Carmona. We are celebrating the music of Spain in this half hour right here on Global Gumbo. 88.9 FM WDNA So WDNA, one of the great stations I love this station Whenever I come to South Florida That's the station I turn my dial to uh, Can you tell me what role WDNA has played In the music life in Hollywood? You know, doing this radio show And the music that we've done throughout the years It's really always been about that sense of identity You know, who are we? in this place that is a crossroads of, of world cultures. Uh, you're in the South, you still have those traditions of blues and gospel and funk and rock and roll and, and, and all that, but at the same time, you have people from Eastern Europe, you have you know a, a lot of people from the Caribbean and a lot of Latins of all different types, and that has definitely played a big part in influencing our aesthetic and our worldview. You can't demonize someone who's making your groove. What do you think is going to surprise me about Hollywood? Hollywood's always had that funky, bohemian kind of vibe uh, going back to its early days. I think that that is, is very much coming back. That funky vibe is on full display at one of Hollywood's most popular culinary destinations. Well, the tub is known to have the best hamburgers in America, according That's to... A, quite a claim. Yeah, according to GQ and according to... Oprah. And you know, the two most trusted sources. They're my If you can't believe sources. them, I mean, who are you going to believe? But even if the burgers were terrible, I love the ambiance of this place. You're right here by the water. You've got, you know, funky decor, toilets everywhere, birds flying overhead. When you're here, you're really getting kind of the authentic coastal Florida vibe. Neva, Mitchell Barber. Oh, nice. Enjoy, bon appetit. Wow, that's that's a little burger. It's been known to you know to knock you out for a little siesta. I'm gonna need like, look at that. That will not fit in my mouth. It is a manly here burger. Here we go. This is when I wish I were like a snake and I had a jaw that distended itself. But <laughs> mm. Mm. <coughs> oh, this is this is a really good burger, man. This is the future site of what will be the first ever Margaritaville Resort. Jimmy Buffett is going to be building a playground for all ages, and he's promised to bring lots of music as well. One of Hollywood's best features is its Seaside Broadwalk, which stretches nearly two and a half miles along the Atlantic. It has a beach vibe like Miami, but with a more down-to-earth flavor. Vintage buildings still line the coast, 
classic examples of American architecture that have mostly been demolished in other parts of Florida. Cruising down the Broadwalk, you're bound to hear some live music. Eddie Balzola is a Cuban-born singer-songwriter who grew up in South Florida and honed his musical chops in New Orleans. Light by the window, red light by the door. Blue light by the window, red light by the door. Driving south on Dixie Highway, I can feel all my insides at war. This part of Florida was largely undeveloped marshland in 1925, when visionary developer Joseph Young built his dream city and named it after that other, more famous Hollywood in California. The population boomed in the 50s and 60s, and nearby Port Everglades is one of the world's busiest cruise ship seaports. But in recent years, the city has faced many changes and challenges, and today its racial and cultural diversity and blend of old and young residents reflect the demographic future of America. Of course, Hollywood's history extends back far before 1925. The whole South Florida region was originally home to Seminole Indians, and there's even a Seminole reservation within city limits. Eddie agrees to meet up with me later that night at Cuenca Cigars in downtown Hollywood, where his full band will be playing. Cuenca is one of Hollywood's social hubs, and its husband and wife owners, Ana and Miguel Cuenca, came to Florida from Cuba on a raft. They bring a welcoming spirit and lots of cigar expertise to the community. So this is not... Uh... This is not the kind of place you'd come to get like a a, a blunt like the at the gas station. You know, that's the no, it is not. It is not. What you a know. selection too. You this know. is amazing. Smoking cigar is something laid back. Yeah. You do it as you want. You know, you stop when you want. Yeah. You talk whatever you want. You know, there is tobacco from Nicaragua, there is tobacco from Cuba. Depending on of the amount of ligero that you put inside, is the strain of the cigar. What's ligero? What ligero is the leaf that is that gives the strain. Uh, then you have to cure, you know, you have to let it sit, and depending on, uh, on the time that you put the tobacco to age, you know, it might be the quality too of the tobacco. Wow, it reminds me of wine. It's like it wine. is. It is With very all the similar. And yeah. All. Now, Eddie, you you're not much of a smoker, no, but you no. you probably grew up with oh, cigars in your all life. All over the you house, know, my dad childhood. spoke smoked cigars backwards and frontwards. It's part Being of a culture. Cuban, you can be either a tobacco smoker or a musician. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's not too many options. You made, <laughs> you no made the choice. Right? All right. You what's your, try I wanna, something? I'd like to try something. You want to try something? You want what? What did you eat today? For dinner, I had Peruvian rice. Like a okay. mariscos and you know, very salty, spicy, super spicy. So I guess rice. you're ready for the Monte Cristo tonight. You think I'm ready? Yeah. Try not to take a lot from the cigar. Okay. You can put it in your mouth. And then yeah, how you hold it is also very important. You hold too. it, I'm telling you, it's very whatever you please. All Feel, right. you know, I hold it. I think I'm gonna hold it. The, I like this, the, the kind of, you know, the Scarface yeah. cigar look. Whatever you feel comfortable right. with. Yeah, I guess you're fine. All right. I feel like I should be, you know, buying stocks and bonds or something, you know, like a, a banker. <laughs> you're really uh, poor. The world, the world. Eddie and I share a Cuban coffee, and he tells me more about growing up Cuban in South Florida. I was born, well, I was born in a, in a place called Guanabacoa which is east of Havana. Yes. So I arrived over here and 
Most of you grew up in Miami Beach. Uh huh. In a totally Jewish neighborhood. Oh yeah. Everybody is from Brooklyn. So um, I have a little bit. Everybody sometimes thinks I'm a New Yorker because of a little bit of an accent I got. Just picked it up from the local characters over there. Para que siga rumbeando. Una rumba para rumbicha. Rumberito, dilo, dilo, como es. Una rumba para rumbicha. Cuidado. When Eddie's band gets together, the Cuban roots come out even stronger. How would you describe the sound of your band, Oriente? Really, Oriente is kind of like it's blues with Afro, a lot of Afro-Cuban rhythm. The rhythm, the rhythmic, almost everything's in clave. What, and you'll have to explain. You well, clave is, is, the, is the Cuban way of addressing rhythm, where it's based on two measure phrases right. in cut time. Where, There's a great vibe at Cuenca Cigars. I could easily stay here all night. But it's not the only happening spot in town. So naturally, I have to explore. Downtown Hollywood comes to life at night when the many clubs, bars, and restaurants pulse with the sounds of reggae, rock, Latin music. It's a city with a lot of energy and personality. FM, Global Gumbo with Magica. And Mono P. And we're here celebrating a special day today. Viva Florida 500 in Florida. So check it out. It'll be Antonio Carmona, free, on stage at the Hollywood Arts Park Experience, Spain. On the morning of the Antonio Carmona show, I meet up with a well-known local artist whose murals have brought a little color to the center of town. All right, so does this mural have a name? Do you, uh, you name your murals? Yeah, I do actually. Well, this one's called uh, Bebop in Outer Space. Bebop in Outer Space. And maybe talk me through it. Well, the central figures are these two musicians here. At the end here? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and then these are what? Birds? Or yeah, owls? Sort of owls, but I've been doing different variations of birds for years. Uh huh. Owls, if you look symbolically, they're actually very ominous for a lot of cultures, but for yeah. the Romans, they were a symbol of wisdom in the darkness. Sure, well, for us, the wise old owl. Right. Lebo has a deep connection to music, and he's created numerous album covers and painted live to musical performances by groups as diverse as Fish, the Beastie Boys, and Sierra Leone's Refugee All-Stars. So I've been walking around Hollywood and I've seen that there's quite a few music-themed murals here. I think it's, uh, it's part of the whole process of them wanting to redefine the city and bring more attention to it, and I think culture is a, is a really great way to do that. Historically, a lot of cities that are blighted, they get occupied by artists, and that revitalizes them sort of naturally, and then through that, developers come, and more people come, and eventually the artists get pushed out. Right, and, right. To, <laughs> and I think that what they're trying to do in this case is actually create a home for artists where they hopefully come and stay and build from here and not get pushed out. One home for local artists in Hollywood is Resurrection Drums. It's the largest percussion-only drum store in the entire U.S. How did this end up being in Hollywood, Florida, of all places? 
South Florida has got like a great Haitian influence. It's got a great Puerto Rican influence. The drummers and drumming that comes from Cuba is some of the most amazing drumming of all time. Brazilian drumming. Uh, all of these cats, they all get off the boat or the plane here. So do you have to know how to play drums to work at Resurrection? Uh, legally, probably no, but yes. You know how to play drums, son? Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's play hear that, it. Play that new DW kid. You're not allowed to play better than me. Uh, all right. Yeah, all so, right. That's, so take it easy. Back in the center of town, the Viva Florida 500 kickoff event is starting to heat up. This is raw, yeah. but dry with soap. Mm. It's great. Mm. It's good, mm. huh? <laughs> oh man, I just want to have a big bite. <laughs> just before his set, I link up again with Antonio Carmona. He's got a cajon with him, a hand drum whose name literally means box that he'll later play on stage as part of his set. Es me, es bueno que tienes un tambor que también En es España, en España una vez me dijo uno, por favor, me limpias lo, los zapatos. Ah, no, 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 Se no, creía no, que no limpia bota. Ah. In addition to singing and playing guitar, Antonio is a virtuoso percussionist. Esto me ha dado mucha, mucha satisfacción. Tengo casi 150 discos grabados de, de percusión. The cajón was developed in Peru by African slaves who used shipping crates as drums. The instrument was only recently integrated into Spanish flamenco music in Europe. Nosotros descubrimos el cajón hace en los años 70. Es muy reciente. Muy reciente. Para ti, ¿qué quiere decir flamenco? Flamenco es una forma de vivir, una forma de transmitir. Es una forma de de, de haber hecho una una herencia una herencia musical. Me ha pasado a mí con mi familia, ¿no? con, lo, con los habichuelas. ¿no? Y todavía sigo pasando esa, esa herencia a mis hijas. ¿no? ¿Ah, sí? Sí, sobre todo que no se pierda, no se pierda el flamenco y que sepan de dónde viene su abuelo, de dónde viene su, su bisabuelo, de dónde viene todo el flamenco y de dónde viene la esencia. Porque estoy yo aquí hoy haciendo un show aquí. ¿no? Antonio keeps flamenco alive and vibrant by constantly blending it with new influences. On the song Muevete, it's the Cuban flavor that comes to the fore, and he spices things up even more by bringing on a surprise guest, Javier Garcia, a Spanish singer of Cuban heritage who I've always really liked. In my travels, I've been to destinations that are famous for their music. New Orleans, Kingston, Nashville. And while Hollywood might not be in that league, I've always believed that no matter where you travel, all it takes is a little digging to unearth a harvest of musical treasures. That's certainly the case here in Hollywood, where the cultural diversity is a microcosm of the melting pot that is America today. And I'm happy to see the city embracing its diversity. The vitality of a community doesn't just come from building factories, resorts, or office parks. It's here, in these creative spaces, which cannot be mapped or planned, that a dream city is truly realized. Yeah. 
Javier García. Muchas gracias. Quiero cantarte yo a ti de pasito y sin prisa, sin pedirte nada. Hay solo tu sonrisa. Quiero tenerte de frente y de pierde de lejos. Hay gitana morena flor, si tú me dejas. No me he acostumbrado a ya vivir sin su caricia. Quiero tenerte aquí a mi lado, aunque la gente hable y diga. Se amarra el pelo, se amarra el pelo, se amarra el pelo. Con una cinta de hilo negro, de hilo. Se amarra el pelo, se amarra el pelo, se amarra el pelo Con una cinta de hilo negro, de hilo negro Funding for Music Voyager provided in part by Live concerts are my passion. Now I can enjoy them over and over again. Additional funding provided by Hollywood, Florida Community Redevelopment Agency. Florida's Hollywood, where you want a beach.